Greetings Aquarius. This is going to be a reading from the 30th of October to the 5th of November, guys. We're, we are approaching the end of the year. These are exciting times. Despite the chaos that is happening upon our Earth, <clears throat> what's going on with you Aquarius? <clears throat> this is for you guys. For you guys that need some form of clarity in your life. What's going on with you in your love life? There you are at the bottom of the deck, queen of air. Hmm. Seems as if there's an idea that's being abandoned here. All right, that's right off the rip is what I'm getting here with this, with these two combinations. It's as if you had something in your mind that you are now abandoning. This could be the idea of being with someone. This can be a relationship. This can be um, something here, all right? And I'm getting the sense that it was something desirous. It's, it's not as if you're abandoning something in which was limiting you, per se. All right? Limiting you directly is what I mean. All right? So it's not like a, uh, an insecurity or a lack of confidence in something or fear. It's nothing like that. It's something external outside of you that you are abandoning is really what I'm getting the message here. But let, let's, let's go on. Jeez, well, in the challenge position, it seems as if someone is trying to make a move on you here, okay? This is going to be interesting to see how it plays out. I'm curious to see whether Aquarius is walking away from an opportunity because that's what it seems like so far. All right, Aquarius, deep down, man, despite the fact that you're making, that you're taking action to walk into the unknown, relinquishing something of the past, you're not seen clearly, all right? It's as if you don't have clarity on your path in regards to your love life nevertheless you're, you're continuing forward which you should do all right just because the room is dark doesn't mean that we can't navigate it in fact we need to navigate it you see this card 18 when you work through it one plus eight equals nine which is the card of wisdom so when you, when you walk through this darkness hence the mark of the beast six plus six equals 12 plus six equals 18 right ignorance darkness the lack of ability, the, the lacking of, of being able to see ignorance um, is what we got to work through. Is what we got to work through in order to get to wisdom, right? So, man, you've been struggling with this shit, Aquarius. You've been struggling with this shit since the past, all right? This is something that, that um, has been existent for some time, all right? I get the sense that you have multiple options, guys. Some of you have multiple options. Some of you may be thinking about love with multiple people here, all right? Being in a relationship with multiple people. Um, <clears throat> nevertheless, you are taking initiative to bring forth your ideas. Whatever it is that you got going on in regards to your love life, on a mental level, you are vocalizing them. You are making them clear, all right? So if you aren't dealing with someone here, it's as if there is no... Uh, mystery in regards to how you feel, all right? I see you being pretty clear, whether it's through direct communication or through subtle ways of displaying a message. We have the different forms of communication. There's indirect and there's direct communication, right? It's kind of like aggression. You can be in someone's face or you can be passive aggressive where you fuck with them in their head. You know what I mean? It's it's the same way. It's, it's, uh, it's a different method of basically imposing the same energy. All right, <clears throat> using different energy to impose the same significance, if you will. The person that you're dealing with here, they may say they may actually be a bit of a mystery. All right, this individual here seems to be reserved. All right, they aren't being too open. They're definitely not wearing their heart on their sleeve. <sighs> they could <clears throat> be going through some sort of trouble here. All right, the strength can indicate that they're having. They're having a difficult time, but they're finding strength through whatever ordeal they're dealing with. All right, so <clears throat> I don't think that you're too too uh, too happy with someone right now. All right, nor is someone happy with you. Okay, <clears throat> it seems as if your fears may actually come to fruition, Aquarius. But there's going to be activity, to say the least, towards the end of the week. All right, there's going to be exchange and communication here. What's coming towards Aquarius here with this eight? of wands <clears throat> it's a fury of energy just coming swiftly out of nowhere what is this energy that's coming into <clears throat> that aquarius is going to be ex experiencing for all i know aquarius could be very much bringing this heat to someone else <clears throat> well, tell me about this eight <clears throat> mm. 
Fuck, well, you, I, I get the sense that you're done with someone. All right, you're done with someone, Aquarius? All right, I feel that you're making something pretty clear. It's as if you're, you're putting an ending to something here with this death energy and then moving towards silence, okay? Towards silence, but despite your actions of bringing about a transformation within a, within a situation, you're recluding inwardly and there's still a bit of dubiousness within you, okay? And what I mean by that is that you're just not in a good place. This is not a decision that you're making in, a, in like a, a very invigorated manner, all right? It's more so coming from a, from a disappointment. It's coming from this vibration in which is not good that you're wanting to move away from, all right? And I, I really get the sense that it is that, that muck or that darkness or that lack of goodness which is compelling you to take this action, all right? <clears throat> Tell me about this Ace of Swords here. In regards to the energy that Aquarius is embodying toward whomever they have interest in or whomever's around their proximity here. Whomever it is that they got on their minds. Get three more. <clears throat> Alright. So, yeah. Look, Aquarius, I feel that you've taken some time out for yourself to regroup, to find your grounding, to, to really find a sense of contentment with yourself. Life could have been a bit heavy, okay? And this could have been influenced due to whatever tumultuousness is happening, happening in your love life that is, that is uh, inducing a lack of contentment within you. That could have drove you to seeking peace and happiness with yourself, as you should, right? But from this, it's as if like, hmm... There's some engagement here. There's some engagement. This could be you. This could be someone else coming forward to communicate. I'm not necessarily picking up on who's making the initiative here, but I am seeing someone come forth from the past to address some sort of conflicting manner. All right. <clears throat> this is going to be interesting to see. This is a general read, guys. But um, yeah, once I, I dive into your person and the extended reading... In regards to their feelings, their intentions, their thoughts, their energy, I'll get a you know get a better idea of like who's the one taking action here. But nevertheless, I see you experiencing that, Aquarius. Someone here is taking initiative to confront a conflict. All right, and I'm telling you what I'm seeing, man. <clears throat> I'm telling you what I'm seeing. I ain't sugarcoating this shit. What? Why is this Ace of Cups in the challenge position? This is going to be interesting. Okay. So this may actually quench our curiosity. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. Yeah, someone here is uh, is coming forth to bring about the opportunity to work on a situation. All right. However, I get the sense that it's just it's not being taken. It's not being taken. Is not fucking being taken. That's the challenge position. Is that, <clears throat> guys, you actually have love on your mind here. And then it's as if the opportunity arises. There's some sort of potential, despite the fact that it may not be what you want or what you picture love to be. It is a potential for love that seems to be evaded. All right. Not invaded. Evaded. Avoided. <clears throat> Let's clarify this eight of cups this card of walking away what are they walking toward hmm. <clears throat> walking away from a past relationship yeah you're done you're done juggling this shit all right i see you walking away from a past relationship in which a tremendous amount of effort to maintain balance was required and it says you're like fuck this breaking free from this shit that's what I'm saying, guys. I, I really get the sense that feelings are going to be fucking expressed. Feelings are going to be expressed, man. Um, tell me more about the energy of Aquarius here. What actions is Aquarius taking this week towards love? What, what sort of significant energy is Aquarius emitting in their love life this week? <clears throat> yeah yeah guys this is what i'm saying all right 
there's a conflict here. There's some sort of resolution, some sort of clarity, some sort of action that is required for a relationship to take off. And it's as if that's what's on the on the edge this week. It's like someone and I was like kind of fed up, kind of fed up. It's like I, I'm done being stuck with this shit. I'm done investing um, what I'm giving and not receiving. All right. Not receiving what it is that I want. And and it's like a do or die kind of is really what I'm getting here. You feel there's a sense of just you have great feelings for someone. You see someone in good light, Aquarius. But for whatever reason, the relationship is just putting you in the dark. All right. And you're ready to make some shit happen with or without them. And that's the energy that I see going on this week. OK, it's an energy of, of desiring love and union, but simultaneously being fed up with no growth and and a, and a really a sense of defeat. That's really what I'm getting here. All right. What is the advice for Aquarius? This reading is, is just gone overboard. It's too long. <clears throat> What's going on? What advice do we have for Aquarius? All right, fuck. Aquarius, yes. Your advice, look, your advice is, is basically expressing to me that you want this relationship. You want love, you actually want union and and look, this is your best bet, all right? Is to actually give forth the, the energy that you want reciprocated. Do it, give your love, present it, present it. And if it's not reciprocated, guys, if that is not reciprocated, which I got a feeling that it will be reciprocated, let me just say, if it's not reciprocated, then you know to move on, okay? You know not to, you know what to move on from. Okay, who to move on from, what feelings to move on from. I don't feel that you're ready to give up on the situation. You're just in a place of being fed up with a lack of growth, with the fucking self tormenting thoughts that that you impose on yourself, which are ultimately influenced by the situation. So it's not your fucking person that is picking at you. It's their lack of picking at you that is vexing you. That is what I'm saying. All right, so give, give, all right? Give with the intention of bringing about a transformation in regards to union. Two of cups, three of cups, it only grows, all right? If you do not see that grows, guys, then you know what to do. Aquarius, let go of any fucking stress you got. This, isn't, this, isn't, this shouldn't be stressed over, all right? It shouldn't be stressed over. Um, it should be approached with a sense of excitement, with a sense of positivity, with... You know, imagine that. Imagine going up to someone and say, I'm fucking fed up. I love you. I want to be with you, but you're not with me. This is, I'm not saying that you're like that. Just picture this. You know what I mean? Imagine someone's like, what the fuck, you freak? Get the fuck away. You know what I mean? But that, that's like coming from desperation. And I'm not saying that you guys are desperate. I'm just giving an example of the drastic degree of what I'm seeing here. All right, there's a bit of vexation within you in regards to a relationship that you're really fond of. I'm telling you, the advice is to put forth, emit the energy that you want reciprocated. And if it's not reciprocated, make your move. This is what I got for you. I'm going to take this to the extended. I'm going to bore into this individual. What are their thoughts, feelings, intentions, energy towards you? Aquarius, if this was your reading, I'll see you there. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you guys next week.